Hi. I want to offer some words on moving towards gratitude, even in times of enormous challenge. And those times might be happening for you or your awareness of those times at the macro level. Maybe your attention and heart is drawn towards Iran, Indonesia, other parts of the world where there's enormous upheaval and suffering. Maybe that mezzo awareness of what's happening in the United, what continues to happen in the United States with this culture of mass weaponry and violence. And perhaps your, your own personal challenges that you face right now. And moving towards gratitude without bypassing that and without being swallowed whole by that is a challenge. I'll share how I navigate that, if that can be of, of service to anyone. And in these times that we're in, the added layer of a holiday that's been whitewashed and we've been sort of spoon-fed um, untruths to cover up the violence of the white supremacy culture that we are in. And all that being said, it that doesn't mean we can't access a, a genuine connection to gratitude, to a generosity of our own heart, and to cultivate that even in times of challenge. So we're not here, at least I, I know for myself, I, I'm, I have a lot of clarity around this idea that I'm not here to just get through these times. I'm here to fully live my life and to fully live my life with other beings as well. And so one of the thoughts I have around that is, is something that comes from my practice of yoga is this really simple yet profound awareness of our aliveness, this animating force that nourishes and helps us digest, assimilate, move, have sensory intelligence, eliminate all of the things we do in our aliveness, in our physical body as well as feeling, sensing, connecting with others. This, this prana, this life force energy is this kinetic force that drives the planetary alignment, that drives the earth's rotation around the sun, that drives the cycle of the day, that drives the cycle of the seasons, the plants, all the species. That same life force that is in single-celled organisms is animating us. And that has the, the potential for me to invite a profound sense of humbleness and a sense of, you know, what a privilege it is to be here, to be given this day, to be given this breath, to be given this life. And how can I be of service in th these times? And to see and, and have that awareness that, you know, the earth is billions and billions of years old. And here I stand, you stand, we stand on this point in this spiral of time where we have the wisdom of the past, whether they're blood or other lineages of ancestors. And we have the hope of those who have yet to come of the future. So standing in that spiral of time in the present moment with that sense of awe and wonder. And I think for me, hum humility, awe and wonder are like gateways to gratitude. So my wish for all of you, my desire, what my intention, sankalpa, that I, that I orient myself towards, that is a compass for me, is this orientation of seeing all beings having access to essential resources to thrive, to live freely and safely in our bodies as we show up in these bodies and to live in peace. And may all of our thoughts, words, and actions contribute to that equity, freedom, safety and peace of all beings, so be it.